right. Hi, Year 12, this is Mr. Lim again, um, and we're going to be doing a uh, first video on proteins and introducing you to the concept. Right, so um, we're going to be learning about proteins. Duh. Okay, so amino acids are biological monomers for polymers that are built uh, in the body called proteins. Okay, so we've been dealing with polymers before, so now we are talking about monomers, and we've learned about amino acids, and so now we're going to put them together. We're going to use the, mon uh, the amino acids as monomers to build a polymer, and then when you put that all together, they make proteins. Okay, each amino acid contains an amine group and a carboxylic acid group, so they can be joined by those two functional groups to make a polyamide as the polymer. Okay, the amide functional group links uh, in proteins are called peptide bonds. Okay, so if you remember what an amide group looks like, okay, it's this. That's the peptide bond. Now, some people say that this is the peptide bond. Some people say that this is the peptide bond. Uh, either of those are technically correct, apparently. Go figure. Um, so the peptide bond is this structure here, which holds the two amino acids together. All right. So proteins are combined with the aid of enzymes, which are biological catalysts, which greatly reduce the amount of energy required to join the amino acids, so it can be done at biological temperatures. Mm -hmm. So before we've been talking about the production of um, various polymers, and all of those require quite high temperatures, quite high pressures, and so to put together uh, two, um, two amino acids and you know to make long chains of them it's actually quite impressive that they can be done at room or inside of the body at body temperatures and so therefore uh, it requires enzymes to reduce the amount of energy required so that it can actually be done at uh, biological temperatures and there's a whole bunch of other stuff that also helps it along but generally it's uh, quite impressive that it needs to that it can be done at biological temperatures all right amino acids are gathered by the body by consumption of foods Okay, that's for us at least. Um, other organisms, they can put them together like plants and stuff, but in general, amino acids are not being are not able to be put together by the human body, so we have to eat stuff and then we get our amino acids from there. Okay, um, these proteins are built to do various functions within the body, such as muscles to move, hormones, gateways in and out of cells, antibodies, and fighting diseases, and many other functions. If you want to uh, learn about that, go do human bio. Okay, proteins are only able to perform their function if they are in the right shape. And so it's really important that we're going to be linking shape to lots and lots of things. Okay, so the shape of the protein is determined by its composition and the order of amino acids. Okay, so maybe you look at those amino acids on your data sheet and you see all of the different ones. And then the order of them uh, will determine the overall structure of and shape of that protein. Okay. So proteins are asymmetrical, as the peptide bond is asymmetrical, so an amino acid A is joined to amino acid B, it's quite different to amino acid B joined to A. Okay, so glycine is the simplest one, I hope, I can't remember. Okay, with the uh, amine on one end and the carboxylic acid on the other end. And valine is um, the second most simplest one, I think. Okay, all right. So here are your two amino acids. Generally, they're not in this form because they should be in Zwitter ion form. But the point is that this here and that there, or at least one of those, and that there as well, those two go away and then they form that structure there. Okay, and the idea is that this structure is asymmetrical. All right, so if I was to put this uh, valine, uh, this, this um, glycine in red, here and the valine in blue together this way it would be different to whether when I put the glycine uh, the valine first over here okay and the uh, glycine over here okay so those two structures are inherently different okay because of the way that this structure is here okay so um the order of them is very very important and especially since we're not dealing with like you know repeating units of two monomers like we or one monomer like we do in polymers uh because there are so many different uh monomers put together in the different combinations you can have a large amount of variety and therefore that's how we have so many different protein shapes okay so that's this that for protein introduction we're going to be moving on to the next video adios